you ever found a video that you want to share with your students, but you want to make sure that they are comprehending what's in the video, but you might not have the time to come up with questions for that video? Well, if that sounds like you, I have a solution for you. Stay tuned. All right, we are on a website called Magic School. And Magic School is an AI platform that is aiming to help teachers save time. As you can see, they have multiple, multiple tools that you can explore in Magic School. Magic School has a free tier and they have a paid tier. In this video, we're going to be utilizing the free tier. So anything that we do in this video, you can do today, no money out of pocket. So we talked about in the intro, we talked about finding videos that we want to share with our students, but we want to have some questions that go along with that video so we can ensure that they are comprehending what's in the video that we're sharing. So the tool that we are going to use today is the YouTube video questions. And what this tool does is this tool is going to allow you to put in the URL to a YouTube video and it's going to generate questions for that video. And so what we're going to do is first, we're going to head to YouTube and we're gonna find a video. All right, so I'm going to use one of my previous videos on scheduling a Teams meeting. And what we're going to do is we're going to watch the video, we're going to make sure that it's appropriate for students, and then we're going to get the URL for this video. So we've watched the video. Okay, this is a video that I want to share with my students. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to click the share button here in YouTube. And I'm going to grab the video's URL. So I'm going to go ahead and click copy. Then I'm going to go back to Magic School and I'm going to set up my grade levels. I'm going to set up all the criteria here. So for this case, I'm going to say that this is this video would technically be for teacher professional development. So we'll just say it's for university, but you would put your grade level there. And I want it to create five questions and my three choices for the questions that it can create is it can create multiple choice, it can create a free response, or it can create true false. So what we're going to do is we're going to kind of do this a few times so we get a combination of multiple choice and free response questions. So I'm going to choose free response. Here I'm going to right click and I'm going to paste in the URL for the video. And as you can see, it grabbed the URL and it created a transcript already. So now I'm going to click generate. And what it's doing now is it's going through the video and it is coming up with questions for me. And as you can see here, it's uh, understanding Microsoft Teams meeting scheduling. And so we have five questions here. What tool is mentioned in the video as a great tool for virtual meetings? We have our answer choices here. How many ways are discussed in the video to schedule a virtual Teams meeting? And then where can we find the calendar section in Microsoft Teams? All right, so these look like pretty good questions. And in Magic School, to help the AI kind of learn if the responses that it is giving you is what you are looking for, you can give it a thumbs up or a thumbs down. So I'm going to go ahead and give this a thumbs up. I can provide feedback if I want to. In this case, I'm not going to. I'm just going to go ahead and submit that. Also, it gives me an answer key down here too, so I know what answers that it is getting. And then also, it gives me the timestamps. So it's letting me know that between the start of the video and 23 seconds, that's where it got the answer for question number one and so on. Now that I have the questions that the AI has generated for me, I'm going to now take these questions and we're going to put them into a Google form. So I've created a Google form up here and all I'm going to do is I'm going to copy and paste these questions and answers into the Google form. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take question number one here and I'm going to right click copy or I can do control C to copy. I'm going to come back to my demo form here. I'm going to click on adding a new question. 
and I'm going to paste my question in here. Now I'm going to go back to magic school and I'm going to take the four answer choices and paste them in here. And now we're going to add a new question and we're going to repeat the process. All right, now that I have all my questions in here, I can use the answer key that Magic School gave me to set up my quiz in Google Forms. So I'm going to go ahead and go on to settings. I want to make this a quiz. Okay. We'll leave these for each. We'll just say it's one point per question. Okay. Let's go back to our questions. All right, so in magic school, answer was C. Now what I want to do is I want to go back and I want to add a couple free response questions. So here, what I'm going to do is edit my prompt and I'm going to ask for three free response. Go ahead and click generate. So now it created three free response questions for me. So let's go back and let's look at our multiple choice. Okay, I like this describe the process of creating a calendar event for a Teams meeting using Outlook. I'm going to copy that and let's add, let's add it right here. Let's go ahead and click add a question. We want this to be a paragraph. And I'm going to move this down to right after the question of where can you find the calendar section. All right, so now I have all my questions set up. What I can also do here is I want to add the video that these questions correlate with. So I'm gonna go ahead and click add video. I'm going to go back to the video and I'm going to, again, copy the link. I'm going to paste the link in here and we grab our video. I'm going to insert it. I'm going to move it all the way to the top. And let's go ahead and center this. So now what my students can do is my students can watch this video and then they can go ahead and they can answer questions that pertain to the video and they have it all right within Google Forms. They're not having to go back and forth between toggling between the video and going back to the quiz. They have everything that they need in one spot. So now I can take this quiz, I can push it out to Google Classroom and I can have my students watch a video and then answer some questions about that video all within just using Magic School and Google Forms. So that's how you can pair Magic School and Google Forms to take a video and generate some questions using Magic School. So then you can show your students a video, but then also ensure that they are understanding and comprehending the content of the video. I hope this video was helpful to you. If you have any questions, please feel free to leave them in the comment section below, and I will catch you in the next video.